Welcome back to Simple Spoonfuls, where we show you how to make simple recipes spoonful of nutrition. I'm Kristen Newsell, registered dietitian and patient advocacy liaison. And I'm Kim Moran, senior vice president and head of rare diseases in the US. Now on today's episode, we're going to show you how to heat it up in the kitchen and make some eight minute fajitas. Get those timers ready. We'll be using pre-cooked and pre-cut foods to save time and also prevent muscle fatigue in the kitchen. Additionally, we want to be mindful that the ingredients have a good consistency and aren't difficult to swallow for individuals living with myasthenia gravis. In today's recipe, you'll need eight ounces of pre-cooked shredded chicken, which is about a cup, and then one cup of pre-chopped peppers, which is about three quarters cup, half an onion pre-sliced which amounts to about three quarter cup. Then one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of garlic, four tablespoons of shredded cheese, four tablespoons of salsa, and four large tortillas. Today's recipe serves four people. You're going to want to start by heating your stove up to medium high, closer to the high, but we don't want to burn it. Place the olive oil in the pan and allow it to heat up while you get the ingredients out. Next, you'll place the peppers into the pan to start cooking. After three minutes time, you'll then add the onion and garlic. So let's set the first timer for three minutes to cook our peppers. And now we're gonna chat about some of the ingredients and why we use them for this recipe. We talk a lot about inflammation with myasthenia gravis. Inflammation has long been seen as an important contributing factor for both generalized and ocular myasthenia gravis pathogenesis, happening in about 80% and 50% of myasthenia gravis patients respectively. And according to Harvard, following a Mediterranean diet can be helpful in sticking with an anti-inflammatory diet. There are tons of Mediterranean diet cookbooks available if this is an eating pattern that you and your healthcare provider have decided is best to follow. While the olive oil and peppers in this recipe have anti-inflammatory properties, you may be asking yourself what foods are actually inflammatory. So things like fried foods, sodas, refined carbohydrates, processed grains, lard, pastries, processed meats can all be inflammatory. This is a nice, colorful dish today, as well as shows a variety of nutrition throughout the dish. Ding! Now that the timer is up, we are going to add the garlic. This is gonna smell really good here. And the onion. You'll wanna stir around to make sure that you prevent any of these items from burning. And also, this nice stirring is also coating these veggies with that nice garlic aroma. So we're gonna set the timer for another two minutes. I recommend using fresh pre-cut vegetables. If you use canned vegetables, they can add a lot of sodium to keep it fresh longer. Sodium is sometimes recommended to be decreased in individuals living with myasthenia gravis due to being on steroids. Frozen can be a good option too and doesn't have the added sodium. So you do have to thaw that out, just keep that in mind. Always talk with your doctor about the eating plan that's best for you. Ding! Now that the two minute timer is up, we can add the chicken. And we're gonna cook that now for an additional three minutes. You'll want to keep stirring because you don't want that chicken to get too crispy and that could make it difficult to chew. You can find pre-cut and pre-chopped chicken at your local grocery store in the deli section. If you can't find it, you can always buy a rotisserie chicken and then shred it up yourself. Now, if they don't have pre-cut and pre-shredded chicken at your grocery store, you can always go up to the deli counter, ask them to shred up the rotisserie chicken for you. Now we're gonna add some salsa in now and that will add some more moisture to this recipe. All right, now our eight minute fajitas are all set. We are going to take these beautiful, brightly colored 
healthy ingredients, place them on the tortilla, add a little bit of that shredded cheese on top. Feel free to add a little bit more salsa for a kick if you like. And enjoy!